What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Zach Zyler checking in for a new video. And today, you're going to be seeing a chest workout. And it's completely free weight based. And of course, you have noticed it is in my basement. So, what we started off with was some good old fashioned bench press. And every single exercise in this video, you guys, um, I want you to take into account that I took 30 seconds rest in between every last set except for some of the sets I did I did some posing and you'll see the videos of those sets um, other than that I had enough time to load the plates on the bar and basically that was it I went back at it afterwards 30 seconds rest and working my way up in terms of weight until I can't go anymore and so that's what I did and you can tell that I am not completely locking out at the top. I am going just before lockout, and I'm trying to keep that constant tension on the chest. Um, it's a difficult thing to do, especially with such limited time in between sets. My my boobs were burning so bad, um, extremely bad, and I was getting fatigued very fast. And I think I only did one other set other than this one right here that you're seeing. Um... I think I only did two reps on the last set. We will see very soon. And I didn't want to go for another set after this one right here because, you know, the two I didn't want to max out, especially with being so fatigued and being downstairs all by myself. I've had that situation happen before to where I, um, I'm trying to go heavy and I get stuck. And that's not something I wanted to do, especially while I was recording, especially when it was so late at night and that kind of a thing. So from there, we went on to some hardcore dumbbell presses and some freaking rigged dumbbell presses. I don't even know how much these weigh because the actual bars themselves are pretty heavy. Um, I'm not sure how much they weigh, so I can't really say. I've got like a 35 and... I have 35 pounds on each side, so so at the very least, they weigh 70 pounds. And the way that it's set up to where there's the two plates on the one side and the one plate on the other, it does make it awkward. It makes the weight like unbalanced, but almost in a positive way. Um, it's hard to get to lay back on the bench without feeling like you're going to die. But once you have the weights above you and you're pressing them, that unbalanced feeling, it it almost makes the, the, the press more effective in a way for me. I don't know. It feels good, so I'm not going to argue with it. And, yeah, I aim for three sets of 14 reps. Trying to stay in a rhythm, again, not locking out. And even if I wanted to lock out, these dumbbells would be smashing against each other. And that's something that I've had people ask me in the gym. I've had clients ask me at, when I was personal training. They said, Zach, it's, is it optimal to bang and clank the weights together? Because that's something I learned in high school years ago and stuff like that. And for me, I never have hit the dumbbells together. Everyone's going to have their different opinions and everything. Obviously, you are coming close to, to lockout when you bring the dumbbells that close together. But in my opinion, you're bringing tension off of the muscle when you bring the, the weights up that high and hit them together. Um, even if it's for a split second, that split second is another split second of tension that you could have on the chest um, when you're pressing or on if you're doing like a shoulder press or something like that. So I guess it's really opinion based and you know what the individual is seeking. But for me, I've never clanked the dumbbells together. Not only that, but it, it's for, it gets pretty loud if you get some heavy-ass weights and you're just hitting them together while pressing. So I try to be a little respectful in the gym and stuff like that, somewhat. Um, there are times where I'll hit failure with dumbbells, and I'll have to drop them to my side. And I'll be having like 100-pound um, dumbbells, 100-pound-plus dumbbells. And throwing those to my side, of course, that makes some noise and stuff like that. But there are times where, you know, you don't have a spotter. And for me, I never have a spotter because I don't work out with people. So I do that often. And I guess I just hope people don't think I'm a douchebag for that. If they do, so be it. But from there, we went on to these weighted dips. 
Um, this is a 20 or 30 pound weight vest and we basically went through and I did 10 repetitions, rip off the weight vest and do another 10 repetitions. And holy shit, by the time that I was into this, my chest was, it was on fire because of that 30 seconds rest. Um, it, it sucks so bad. Um, my basement's cold and you can tell that I have like a cloth on as a tank top right now and I was freaking drenched in sweat and even with my basement being like freezing cold so that should just tell you how hard I was working again um, the posing that you see does take away from that rest time but if you really want to destroy yourself and really have an insane and intense workout that that rest time and these drop sets are what will do it for you a great, great tool to utilize in terms of intensity for your workouts is drop sets. So that's something I always, always incorporate in almost every workout with a different exercise and in a different way. Um, doing dips on the treadmill, it's a little awkward um, because you can't go as far down as what you would like to. But I'm hitting parallel at least, so that's all that really matters. And from there, we went on to a dumbbell fly. And if you guys can tell, I'm not only holding one set of dumbbells, but I'm holding a 10-pound weight in my hand as well because this was also a drop set. I aimed for 10 repetitions. I would drop this, the 10-pound dumbbells and then do another 10 repetitions. Um, you'll see that in a second. And holy shit, this, this, is, this is the last um, exercise for a reason. This kicked my ass completely, and I don't even know how much these weigh right here. Probably around 30 pounds, and with dumbbell flies, I can go up to 70 pounds, probably even more than that in the gym, but with this workout, this, these 30-pound dumbbells completely destroyed me, but it was in a good way, so I had an effective workout. Now, with dumbbell flies, you will see that... Um, let's see how I'm doing them right here. I'm going all the way down a little bit past parallel. My elbows are coming down past parallel. And not only that, but I'm leaving around a foot or a foot and a half in between the dumbbells at the very top of the movement. And there's so many different variations for this exercise. Um, when you're doing incline, when you're doing flat and stuff like that. And in terms of your elbow placement, how far you bring them down. Now, I tend to go from workout to workout and go based off of feel and to see how, like, dead my shoulders are. Because sometimes with my chest workouts, my shoulders, my front delts will begin to fatigue a little bit because my chest has been completely blown out. So what I will do is be careful of my form with my flies and I won't go as deep because if I bring my elbows all the way down and try touching the ground with them it will feel like my shoulders are going to pop off and explode so I just listen into my body and set my limitations accordingly but that was the workout you guys um, we started off with bench press we went into a dumbbell press then some dips with a drop set, and then the flies with the drop set. So really only four exercises. And you guys know that I'm a huge volume type guy. I usually utilize a bunch of different exercises, but in my basement, of course, I'm very limited with what I can do. But that does not mean that you can't get a good workout with limited equipment, because you can. And... That's what this workout is. It's designed to be a complete free weight workout. You don't have to utilize any machines, and by the end of it, you are completely dead. It's very intense with the drop sets and with the very low rep rest time. So, something you guys can try out if you have a bench press at home and some dumbbells, you could probably do it there. But if not, it'd be really easy to do in the gym, at any gym really, that has a um, bench press and some nice sets of dumbbells so here we are with the beautiful lighting some posing and stuff like that show you guys a little bit of my pump but overall I am very happy with my progress so far um, 
I'm bringing up weak points every day, closer and closer to where I want to be. So it's all about that patience from for myself. So thank you guys very much for watching. Um, try this workout, you know, go through it and come back in the comments section and tell me if you like it. It's a fairly quick workout. I'm pretty sure it should only last you 45 minutes to an hour at the most if you do it correctly with the right amount of rest time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. I love you guys. Peace out.